Hi, mis amigos. How's it going? Leticia here, coming to you from Playa del Carmen. Happy Thanksgiving Sunday to my Canadian friends. Blessings to all of you. I hope you're having a wonderful time with your families, with your loved ones. I am. Uh, I did have a nice lunch with Anthony, and uh, I just want to come out for a few minutes and share the good vibes, mis amigos. Uh, as some of you may have seen last night i participated in yet another amazing ayahuasca ceremony at a beautiful venue here just uh in the south end of Playa del carmen magical place and uh as usual after my ayahuasca ceremonies i uh i am left with a number of downloads information and i wanted to share some of that with you mis amigos uh, just to tell you that we are going in the right direction as humanity. I just try to find like a quiet part of town, by the way. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so it's interesting because as some of you know, I've gone to many ayahuasca ceremonies. This was actually my 25th. I can't believe it. But yeah, it all happened like in the past three years. And... And some of you may wonder, you know, why do I keep going? And I know I'm not the only one that keeps feeling a call to go to these ceremonies. And and last night was just another explanation as to, I guess, why I was called. And uh, it has to do, my friends, with doing spiritual work. So when you, when I'm, any one of us goes to an ayahuasca ceremony, you know, some people are afraid to go because they're afraid of confronting their shadow, so to speak. Um, and initially, well, it's been my experience that in the first ceremonies, you do stuff to do with your own personal healing, uh, healing within your immediate family, and then your ancestors line, your, your line of ancestors. We all carry, we all incarnate in, in certain families for specific reasons and because and if we choose to incarnate in in a certain family line it's because we have what it takes to heal that whole ancestral line if you didn't think you had what it takes to do that you wouldn't have incarnated in that specific family that that has become very clear to me so in previous ceremonies i've done my own share of ancestral healing last night but but i've also had many ceremonies where i felt like i was part of the group of beings that is uh, is helping to heal the planet um to 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 help to some extent witness and purge the darkness that has been taking place on earth for i'd like to say from times immemorial you know uh some of it as i've come to learn is not uh it's not humans, you know, there's at least one group of beings that have interfered with humanity for uh, for their own, you could say for reasons of their own evolution. And last night, um, the whole ceremony, you know, I, I was kind of looking forward to having a happy ceremony. I have had ceremonies that were light and uh, where I saw lots of beautiful visuals this time around nope dogs and motorcycles and birds one of the benefits of uh, living in Playa <laughs> okay okay but okay buddy some random dog just barking for no reason here show you guys there she is oh no no oh there okay buddy who are you barking at Saludos. Okay. Saludos, saludos. Okay, buddy. All right, my friend. So I'm going to go back to my share. And uh, greetings to those of you who may be watching this live and also those who may watch this after the fact. I am, uh, I was sharing about my ayahuasca ceremony last night. <sighs> okay, so yeah, it was a pretty intense one because essentially i uh what i perceived myself to be doing my my arm is getting tired haha <laughs> was uh witnessing 
witnessing the processing of all this darkness that humanity has been involved with and all this darkness that's been taking place on earth and some of you who have been awakening in the past three years for sure you you know what i'm talking about uh, extreme levels of darkness the stuff that's been happening with the children there's just unbelievable levels of, of just horrible stuff and uh, and as i was witnessing all the processes processing of all this darkness and 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 it was really weird because again while i was not getting visuals i was uh i was literally experiencing some of the pain and it was just i had to breathe i had to keep breathing and uh and i kept asking why 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 so much darkness was allowed to exist and yet you know what my from that point of view as an observer i could feel i could feel so much love from from source from the universal totality and i could feel that all that darkness was a part of the whole as well and it was being allowed to exist because you know as one of my favorite spiritual teachers debbie solaris likes to say you know we are shards of source we all are parts of source energy and and in that we literally are equal to source i know it sounds crazy but we so in other words source has allowed itself to separate into you know these shards these individualities but it's really we do not ever stop being part of source so in its great wisdom and kindness source has allowed these individuations you know these individual beings to experience whatever the fuck they wanted to experience you know and some of these beings wanted to experience like extreme levels of darkness and i kept asking but why why we don't need why was that ever fucking necessary why and and the understanding that i got was that oh my gosh was that um these beings the reason they were engaged in all this darkness is really in an attempt to reach source like to really feel that presence and and any of us who has at any times in our lives endured intense pain whether physical emotional like is there any fucking difference between intense pain and intense joy that intensity when you're feeling those extremely intense emotions you are one with the universe you are one with with source energy so we literally have different ways of arriving at the same at the same outcome which is being one with source being one with the universe and and yet some beings instead of reaching that through meditation through art through acts of kindness through all this um you could see harmless and more positive ways of, of reaching what it feels to be one with the universe they have instead chosen the path of engaging in extreme darkness extreme like sadistic shit, you know and again in an attempt to to be one with source and and the universal totality has allowed this because in its great wisdom everything is allowed everything is okay if a shard of source has wanted to experience that i was like okay go ahead go and see go and see how it feels go go ahead knock yourself out so essentially needless to say certain activities and behaviors are not consistent with the higher vibrations that the the world is moving into right now so essentially what my work was last night and i know i wasn't the only one there were like we had a pretty sizable ceremony and it was intense it was intense i only took one cup that was that was all it took and i was in this space of just witnessing so much darkness and and i kept thinking and it's not the first time this happens to me and, and i've had at least one other ceremony was where the same thing was happening in that case some of my fellow participants were going through like very loud purging and just they kept going on and on and i just had to be so patient and be like okay bro are you done already nope he's not done yet okay we'll just sit and wait we'll wait for you brother because we all have to ascend like 
I don't know if we all have to ascend, but I think definitely there has to be a critical mass in order for, for Earth to enter this 5D new reality. We need to have a critical mass of humans on the planet. We are the main inhabitants. I mean, there are many other beings on the planet that are, you know, taking human form and so on. And, and there are many who have, uh, you know, high vibrational beings that have incarnated in human form again in order to help with the ascension process. <sighs> but yeah, I was there, you know, kind of sitting. I had the feeling I'm like sitting, looking at my watch, which I never do. I'm like, I'm not a very time, timely person. It's been one of my character flaws, sadly. But anyway, I'm sitting there like, okay, are we done yet? Are we done? No, there's more darkness. No, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. And that was my whole fucking ceremony. It's hours and hours of doing this processing. I was like, okay. And the phrase that came to mind, and I don't know who said this, but um, somebody said, you know, there is not a way out. There is only the way through. There is not a way out. There is only the way through. So that's what I was reminded of last night that, yeah, we need to fucking face all this darkness that's taken place. We are living in the time of revelation. If we are going to move to the next level in humanity's existence, and we are moving in that direction. This is the time of revelation. This is the time when all the things we've been scared to admit that were a part of our nature, all the darkness, all the, all the shame, all the guilt. We need to first of all arrive at, at a point of just self-compassion and yeah, deep, deep, deep compassion for ourselves and our fellow human beings. For whatever reason, us along with these other beings they had a need to 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 reach you know such levels of darkness again in, in a way in a misguided attempt to to find source and be one of the universe one with the universe so what's next mis amigos well fuck pardon my language i uh i invite you to to take on not necessarily through ayahuasca and i know many of you many of you guys my my facebook friends my audience you guys are already people that do so much work on yourselves trying to heal yourselves well keep doing that because it, it does start with each and every one of us and uh, and to whatever extent you can or you feel called to sure you know um we have we have gifts from our ancestors such as these sacred plants such as mother plant ayahuasca there are other powerful teacher plants that i do feel they are ascension tools that's what they are because every single time i have you know done ayahuasca i end up in this place of direct connection with source and it's been you know, other than through deep meditation, which of course, if you have the time, if you feel the inclination, some people really feel a, a call these days to really connect deeply through meditation. And I do that to some extent. I'd like to do that more. I'm not going to lie. Ayahuasca is a shortcut. It's, uh, it, it takes you straight into that 5D place and gives you the higher perspective of things and how nice it is to know that work is being done in the higher realms to help us. And I've seen this over and over again in my ceremonies, like the help we're getting from higher up from our galactic brothers and sisters. It's Earth is receiving a lot of support right now. Humanity on Earth, we are not alone. And uh, that reminds me, there was a beautiful song that they played last night that I've also heard, it, heard at other ceremonies. And it goes, uh, No estoy sola, no estoy sola. I'm not alone. No estoy sola, estoy con Dios. Rey celestial. We're not alone. We're not alone. We are with God, celestial king or celestial light. We're not alone, my friends. We are surrounded by so much light. We are surrounded by so much support from the higher realms. And all we can do is, again, just be gentle with ourselves, be kind to ourselves, and set our intentions to align with these higher energies. Align with the higher energies, affirm our allegiance to the highest light. And, uh, Yeah, affirm our allegiance to the light and uh, and be willing to be in service of the light.
because that's what we came here to do again there's no accidental incarnation mis amigos if you are here at this point in time it's because you have chosen to come here and help with this historical process that's taking place on earth the ascension the raising of vibrations it's amazing so i i have it from many teachers are saying that earth earth itself is a being and earth has decided that it wants to ascend into fifth dimension and we got to go along with her and those beings that are not ready yet they may yeah i'm not sure what's gonna happen they may uh, choose to incarnate elsewhere probably that's what's gonna happen i'm more uh, interested in seeing what we can do each of and each and every one of us what we can do to to go along for the ride with mother earth into these uh, higher vibrations i am so looking forward mis amigos saludos hi i'm so looking forward to finally finally having open contact with our galactic brothers and sisters it's about fucking time don't you fucking think so i'm so excited about that i know i know i'm i just it's about time i am i am so done with all the hidden agendas i'm so done i'm so done with that i'm so done with that i'm so done with that i can't fucking wait to have open contact with our brothers and sisters our galactic brothers and sisters they're here with us they are they've been helping us from behind the scenes and there is there is contact is definitely happening for 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 those of us i haven't quite been ready yet but there are many beings out there many humans and many star seeds that star seeds you can look up that term <laughs> i'll explain it later that have been providing contact with our galactic brothers and sisters and oh, i'm so looking forward i'm so looking forward to to freaking space travel teleportation uh what is it called when when you can buy a look like what is it when you can be in two locations at once i think it's called biolocation or anyway all of that all of that is possible uh in the higher realms and some of us come from those places and we have memories of that and and of course we come to earth and we're like why is everything moving so slowly how much more like oh come on let's go already let's go oh, i'm looking forward to it very much very much very much looking forward to it and um uh, I invite you to join me on this beautiful journey of ascension. <laughs> Much love. Thanks for tuning in. And happy Thanksgiving. We have a lot to be grateful for. Blessings. Bye, everyone.